because they came in 63, we were able to come back in 2020, riding whatever we wanted to ride, stay in whatever hotel was available. They opened the door for us but there's still some doors we have to open and some people we've got to straighten out. 2020, we must deal with those that want to rob our right to vote. And even though we're here in the midst of a pandemic, socially distancing, telling y'all to distance, and I'm keep saying spread out, we want to come to show with our bodies that enough is enough. John Lewis, an outstanding congressman, made his transition. Last time Martin and I were here, he was with us, John Lewis. He and Reverend Hosea Williams and Amelia Boykin were beaten on the Edmund Pettus Bridge, tear gas, that led to the Selma to Montgomery March that got us the right to vote. And that right lasted until 2013, when they took and gutted out the middle of that hill, taken away the map. Well, we come to Washington saying, how do you memorialize John Lewis? and allow the bill that he stood for us to die. We want the John Lewis Voting Rights Bill for the Congress. But well, we've had the conversation for decades. It's time we have a conversation with America. We need to have a conversation about your racism, about your bigotry, about your hate about how you would put your knee on our neck while we cry for our lives. We need a new conversation. Oh, we didn't come to start trouble. We came to stop trouble. You act like it's no trouble to shoot us in the back. You act like it's no trouble to put a chokehold on us while we scream, I can't breathe 11 times. You act like it's no trouble to hold a man down on the ground until you squeeze the life out of him. It's time for a new conversation. 100 years before 63, 1963 was 1863. 1863, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. He promised us full citizenship if we fought to save the Union. He promised us 40 acres and a mule. We never got the full citizenship. We never got the reparation. We come to Lincoln because you promised, Mr. Lincoln, and the promise has been broken and we come like dr king came 57 years ago to say we are tired of broken promises i remember reverend dr y.t walker sat reverend w franklin richardson who spoke today and sat us down and said that after the Montgomery boycott and they had gone to Albany, Georgia and the movement stalled because in Albany they treated them with a certain kindness. They said they wanted to find someone that would demonstrate the raw disregard for rights. And as they did, they went all over the South and Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth told them to come to Birmingham because there was a police chief there named Bull Connor. And Bull Connor would act in an insensitive and brutal way. Well, 
1963 and 1964, they fought Bull Connor. Here we are in 2020. We've gone from Bull Connor to Bull Trump. We've gone from a mean-spirited sheriff to a mean-spirited president. While this young man, Jacob, lies in a hospital and you won't call his name. How do you sit while Breonna Taylor is in a grave and you won't call her name? How do you sit while Eric Garner is in a grave and you won't call his name? How do you sit while George Floyd is laying in a grave and you won't call his name? Well, Mr. Trump, look right down the block from the White House. We come to Washington by the thousands. We gonna call their name. We gonna call their name. We'll never let America forget what you've done. Call their name. But everybody hasn't mattered the same in America. reason we had and still have to say Black Lives Matter is because we get less health care like we don't matter. We go to jail longer for the same crime like we don't matter. We get poverty, unemployment, double the others like we don't matter. We're treated with disrespect by policemen that we pay their salaries like we don't matter. So we figured we'd let you know whether we tall or short, fat or skinny, light skin or dark skin, black lives matter. And we won't stop until it matters to everybody. We always had the dream of being what we were not allowed to be. We are the dream keepers, which is why we come today black and white and all races and religion and, and sexual orientation to say this dream is still alive. You might have killed the dreamer, but you can't kill the dream because truth crushed the earth shall rise again. We gonna rise, never to fall again. We gonna stand up, even when our legs are tired. We gonna make this dream come true. Say her name. 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 Let us hear from Tamika, the mother. Of Taylor. What we need is change, and we're at a point where we can get that change, but we have to stand together, we have to vote. Mr. Lincoln, all of the broken promises. We all stop when a man was killed with a knee on his neck, narrated his own death on videotape and didn't know they were recording. But his death has been the impetus of a global movement. I bring you his brother, 
the brother of George Floyd, Fiona Spurs. As of now, we here because we are being fried right now, man. I want you guys to ask yourself right now. How would the history books remember you? What would be your legacy? Will your future generations remember you for your complacency, your inaction, or will they remember you for your empathy, your leadership, your passion for weeding out the injustices and evil in our world? You know, Martin Luther King stood here 57 years ago, and he told the world his dream. But I don't think y'all know that we're here right now and have the power to make it happen. For my son, I'm gonna fight for justice. Let's welcome to the platform Jacob C. <laughs> Jacob Blake, say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Jacob Blake. You delay your investigation. You admit you exaggerate. You got the video that takes 20 seconds to watch, but you take two, three, four, five, six months to say you're still investigating. Yeah. And then when you call an uproar around our community. And all I remember was seeing my son eyes in Freddie's eyes. And I went to the piano and I wrote a song, not just for my son, but for every son and every daughter that's represented. Black lives matter. I said black lives matter. Black lives
got all that <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 